This video will introduce convenient functions that make Mitsubishi Electric FA equipment products easier to use. Recommended software to use for debugging. Do you have problems like these in your daily work? Being unsure whether or not the program you created will run well? Being unable to solve an error that occurs and operating the program despite that. The sampling trace function for program analysis is hard to use. You can solve such problems with GXWorks 3 real-time monitoring via GX Log Viewer and eManual Viewer. GX Log Viewer software has a real-time monitoring function that can be used to show a waveform display for program operation using GX Works 3 simulation. Here's how to debug using this function. First, please look at this program 1. Start the simulation and check its operation. The program is written so that when X0 is set to on, the PLS instruction sets M0 and M1 to on for one scan and C0 count increases. How about this program 2? The counter instruction in the previous program 1 was moved to line 2. Here, even if X0 is set to on, the conditions for executing the counter are not met, so the count doesn't increase. Now, how about this program 3? This time, the counter instruction was moved to line 1. At first glance, it seems that just like program 2, the count won't increase. But actually, the count increases each time X0 is set to on, and it looks like the operation is the same as program 1. Now, let's look in detail at why they operate this way, and what are the effects of the different program descriptions will be. First, we'll use GX Log Viewer's real-time monitoring function to check the device on timing as a waveform. Let's stop the simulation for a moment. Now, launch the GX Works 3 simulation again and start the GX Love Viewer real-time monitoring function. Select RCPU simulator as the connected device. Then input the device to check using the GX Log Viewer real time monitoring function. And after starting monitoring, run the program using GX Works 3 simulation. After the count has increased, let's stop the program. The waveform is shown. Let's look at the waveforms for programs 1 and 3. This is the program 3 waveform. This is the program 1 waveform. In the program 1 waveform, the count increases during the same scan in which X0 was set to on. But in program 3, the count increases one scan later. This shows how even tiny differences that cannot be found using the ladder monitor can be found by checking using the real-time monitoring function. To determine the cost, we'll check the operation of the PLS instruction that affect the C0 execution conditions. Double-click on the PLS instruction in the ladder editor to open the extended display. Then click Manual to launch the eManual Viewer software and show the detailed explanation of the PLS instruction. According to the manual, when the execution command of the PLS instruction is on, it immediately sets the target device to on and passes through end processing while leaving the device on. The manual says that at its own step in the next scan, it will be set to off. So we can see that in program 3, when it proceeds to the next scan with X0 on, the conditions for C0 to increase the count are met and it performs that operation. 
Since program 3 is not the intended operation, it needs to be fixed. But such tiny differences might be difficult to find during operation verification on actual equipment. As the number of program steps increases, program mistakes like these become even harder to find. Plus, as the number of steps increases, the scan time becomes longer. So this one scan shift increases the risk of unintended operation of equipment. The cost location of even tiny misoperations that are difficult to find using just the ladder editor monitoring screen can be identified using this approach. In addition, the GX Log Viewer real-time monitoring function introduced here can be used not only during the simulation but also to show waveforms of actual program conditions by connecting a computer to the PLC during operation. When the GX Log Viewer and eManual Viewer shown in this video are installed, when GX Works 3 is installed, they can be used immediately. Or, you can download them free of charge from the Mitsubishi Electric FA site. Please be sure to give it a try.